September 17 is something that you need to be aware because the eclipse is coming. This eclipse can help you manifest your dream. If you are having issues financially during this eclipse, I'll be performing this ritual together with the Sri Yantra to unlock all your dreams and desire, especially with attracting more money to help you unlock all your financial abundance. If you want a solution to all your financial problems, you better visit my website, eatreadlove.me, and join the thousands who's already pre-ordered. This is it. The time to break away from those karmic cycles. The eclipse is upon us. So, what are you going to do? <laughs> That's my question. Okay. Well, don't worry because I got you. One, if you want to break from some cycle financially, emotionally, mentally, you know, well, the Sri Yantra, today's the last day to get it. Um, I will energize it for your intention, of course. And at the same time, there are things that you shouldn't do. Oh, today's the last day, guys. Uh -huh. There are things that you shouldn't do and that you should. I have uploaded already. Um, it's a little lengthy, of course, because uh, I like to talk in Manifestation Masters. So go check it out. The link is down there, okay? So I teach you there how to manifest, especially this eclipse. Okay, so let's do your tarot. Aries, this is going to be an energy check up for you guys, which means like we're just going to get the energy right away. And then we'll see. Tarot and astrology. The eclipse is happening in your 12th house. Okay, so you may feel a little bit restless with regards to your sleep. Bothered, basically. A little bit irritable. I hope that health is good also. Okay. Let's see. Okay. Good cards. Good cards. Very good cards. Ooh, very good cards. Look at that. Mm hmm. Star card. We love. Okay, we love. If you're tired of losing, when I say losing money, that's a star with the Ace of Swords. There could be victory. Okay. That's one of the intentions that I can put for you here in your Sri Yantra. If you're tired of losing money and always says it's just going out, you know, because that's a 12th house. That's the 12th house. That's a big problem with Rahu in the 12th. It feels like money is just like gone, gone, gone. Okay. You probably didn't even purchase anything for yourself. Bills. Bills. Could be medical bills at this point. Um, sometimes it is restaurant bills, you know, you have, you'd probably change your mattress, your bed, your, where you sleep, sleep, or you be, you've been buying shoes also, or something related, injury to the feet, that now you have to pay for this, this and that, okay, so you gotta be careful, but if you're tired of losing, okay, because I see here, Ace of Swords with a star card, you let me know when you get your Sri Antra, today's the last day, with the Eight of Wands and the Strength card, I feel like for the Aries, this eclipse is more about like, I want to get what I want and I'm not going to compromise. Go for it, Aries. Mars is in the third. But you make sure that your decision, because that's a decision house, third house, that when you commit to this, like you would be fair, not just for yourself, but for the person that you are with. Because Mars is going to go to Cancer at some point. That's your fourth house. What if you're living in with this person? They would feel like it's unfair. That is, of course, it's the Aries. My way or the highway again. Not that they're saying that. I just know that's what they feel. Mm -hmm. Victory is yours. I like it. Fearless. Okay, good. Eight of Wands. You are now going to a place in your life where you don't let anybody dictate what you should and shouldn't do. Could care less. Eight of Wands. You start living life now. Eight of Wands. Travel is here. Meeting people is Eight of Wands. For others, you're meeting someone new. Online dating. Ace of Swords with a star card. Foreign person. Wish being fulfilled. Saturn in the 11th house. Jupiter in the 2nd. Money should never be a problem to you. So if you are having problems, then we gotta solve it, right? Mm. The graha for for the most benefic uh, you know time of your life is in the second house. So I urge the Aries that during this time of the eclipse, we manifest those coins, right? Venus is gonna go to Libra, another victorious um, part of the. Aries. It is a wonderful day to be Aries. I'm just thinking about the chart. Venus is on the 17th. I'm going to move to Libra. 
Sun is going to move on the sixth house also, um, to uh, from uh, Sun to the sixth house. So there's definitely about enlightenment here, as far as like if you have chronic illness, it's going to be you're going to find the cure, you're going to get the resources and the people who's going to help you if there's any kind of issues with health. I like that. I really like that. Okay. Um, it's just winning. Like this is a theme. For the Aries, winning and getting it, getting it done, okay? Strength card, compassionate, loving, and caring. That's the Empress standing up. St Nearly 9 out of 10 people suffer from financial stress. This lunar eclipse that is coming is so strong that this is your chance to get out of your financial stress. Great gurus from all over the world knows about this ancient Sri Yantra that if you use it, if you want fast results, in my experience, using Eclipse is the best time to manifest. And you combine the Sri Yantra, you will be so surprised. I will be performing a specific ritual with a prayer that will energize this Yantra, this Eclipse. Visit my website, eatreadlove.me. Standing up, taming the beast. The beast is you. We all have our inner beast, meaning your undisciplined side. You're facing your fears. Mm -hmm. The crown symbolizes here with the Ace of Swords. What does it symbolize? Victory, knowledge. He who holds the wisdom wins. Because if you have wisdom and you apply it, your knowledge, of course, you're always doing the right thing. And what is the right thing? The star card. Always acting and taking action with what the divine has intended for you. It's always good if you are on the divine side. It's always just a challenge when we are on the opposite. We call this makuha sa tingin. Makuha sa tingin, you know how like your mom would look at you and you know, don't. You know, so we say, makuha sa tingin. By the, that's the look in the eyes. So that's the star card. You know the divine is looking at you. It's like, Aries, are you going to do the right thing finally? Yes, I am. Yes, I am. Then you become more victorious. Star card, wish fulfillment, Saturn retrograde, all the way to November 15. Your dreams will start to manifest after that. Money will come to you even greater. What you work hard for. Perfect time to be an Aries. Money, money, money. King of Pentacles, stability. Queen of Swords, determination. High Priestess, manifesting this to reality. I don't believe in that what's meant to be is meant to be because nothing is meant to be until you willed it. It is meant to be as above. The divine has the above. So below is here. We have our free will. Willed it. High priestess, take action. Manifest. But how do I manifest? Well, I'm here. That's why I teach how to manifest. You can have everything in your world. You can have everything. That's what God has intended for us, to have everything that will be good for us. He doesn't like donuts, though, for us. That I can tell you. <laughs> but we love donuts. No, I love donuts. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that wasn't part of his plan. <laughs> oh. Hi, priestess. Where did donuts come from? I don't know. Maybe you're going to send me donuts. Ten of Wands, working hard. Six of Pentacles. Have you ever had a time in your life, Six of Pentacles, you work hard and hard and never get paid? Enough, at least. Six of Pentacles with the Ten of Wands. If you are that kind of person, let me know. When you get your Sri Yantra, I will energize it for you, okay? With that specific intention. You shouldn't be working hard. You should be, okay, working and enjoying it while making and attracting the coins. That's the difference when you're manifesting. When you're manifesting, you never work. You live. You enjoy. And the coins keeps being attracted to you. And you are tired with the work, 10 of, 10, 10 of 1. Today's the last day, guys. We ship to more than 80 countries across the globe. So make sure it will be super energized with all the things that comes with it. Okay? And then you can use also the garnet ring that I'm giving out to prevent losses. Is Rahu is in the uh, 12th house for you. Garnet is the ring for Rahu. A good remedy. Six of Pentacles. Don't be paycheck to paycheck until next year. Time for you to break that cycle. Queen of Pentacles with the Three of Wands here and the Hermit. There is someone who misses you. Mm -hmm. They want to talk to you. They feel that the two of you have grown, uh, gone, grown distant. 
uh, cold at the same time. Five Pentacles is here. They'll reach out. Venus is in the seventh. Relationship, you got nothing to worry. Venus is in its own home for the next 30 days. What I need you to be more in control is the pleasure of seeking. You will start to really feel that um, I want to have someone with me. Okay? Because that's what it does. Your person will come towards you. Death card in the, hang uh, in the chariot right here. Driven, motivated to see you. You will attract this person. You might get confused though. You may feel like, I don't understand. Why is this all happening all at the same time? Because it's good to be an Aries. I keep doing your reads. I just don't know if it gets through to you. On the things that what you need to work on and don't work on. Life could be easy. We make it difficult. That's where I am. That's why I'm here. Let's make it easy together. Right? Okay, so put the dates, write it down. And if you're a person who's really committed for the change, the 2025 should be better than 2024. In the Manifestation Masters, I have taught them there how to make their manifestation 100% success. Mm -hmm. Especially when you get your Sri Antra. This is your energy checkup. Today's the last day. I'll see you guys again.